see a one-of-a-kind football game between Japanese and American high school teams. High school football first. An American mainland team travels to Osaka to take on a team of Japanese all-stars. East meets West next on the Scholastic Sports America Japan Holiday Special. Japanese took to baseball and turned it into their own national pastime. Well, you may not realize it, but they've also been playing football for the past few decades. And now a team of Japanese all-stars is ready to take on the first high school team to come here from the U.S. mainland. Love it! Love it! Football isn't new to the Japanese. They've been playing it since the 1930s. It picked up in popularity when thousands of American servicemen were here after World War II. Today, about 100 Japanese high schools have teams. Hey, the Grizzlies from Ashland, Oregon High will face a team of Japanese all-stars. And it's turned into a social as well as an athletic event. I was very happy with the exchange program that brought Ashland here. I stayed with him and their family and he was a friend of his and there was a couple of, I had one night I had six people spend the night at his house because I'm an American I guess they said I was a hero you can't believe how nice these people are here in Japan they just make you feel at home and they just love to give and I wish we could take a lot of that back to the US the Japanese have already imported plenty of American football ideas and know-how Football equipment is an area where Japan loses the trade war. It's all stamped, made in the USA. Schools don't supply gear, so each player has to buy his own, about a $500 investment. They personalize their helmets with decals, even if they're from the opposing team. Then they face their toughest challenge, convincing mom and dad to let them play. In America, Parents understand it, it's not, uh, or sometimes dangerous injury happen, but as long as strong American, you must play football. And all parents understand, society understand, but over here, still some aged generation, older generation think football is a very dangerous sport. One of the reasons I picked up football is that I like to tackle. I felt it's a sport for men. But in tonight's driving rain, it was more of a sport for ducks. The water and wind would make the coaches' jobs more challenging. We've heard that, that we uh, are supposed to be bigger, yet we have seen some of their players in the locker rooms and some of our guys have talked to uh, uh, their players and, and met their players, and uh, there doesn't seem to be very much size difference at all. When they saw the Ashland players for the first time, they were a little bit scared and nervous, but the, uh, when they saw the, uh, their practice, uh, they, feel, they began to feel we may uh, win the game. Tonight's game is set in Osaka's Nagai Stadium, built to football specification and the most impressive the Grizzlies have ever played in. The field is artificial, they're seating for 20,000, and the scoreboard is bigger than the Rose Bowls. Okay, Ashland, you are the visiting team by a long way. So you have the right on the court, okay? Finally, it's time for the captain to sound the charge. The kickoff sets the tone for the whole game. The Japanese try out their speed, but get the feel of a solid American hit on the play. Unlike most all-star teams, this Japanese squad had the chance to play together for several weeks, including a trip to Hawaii. Playing like a team instead of like individuals. We have four, uh, three, three, three wins, one is done. The second is uh, uh, option uh, type offense. And third one is a uh, uh, secret. Muncher had a secret weapon too. Sloppy ball handling and poor traction grounded both sides air attacks. So Ashland and the Japanese tried to move the ball on the ground. That gave the advantage to the Americans and to 200-pound running back Bruce Willits. Yeah. Ashland reached the end zone twice and shut out the Japanese. 
It is true we lost, but in the second half we were tied, nothing to nothing. Next time, we'll win. And when it was over, the teams followed the traditional post-game rituals. A bow to the opponent. All right. Thank you. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. And a salute to the fans. As far as the Ashland Grizzlies are concerned, more American teams should come play in Japan. After all, they've already picked up the language. Arigato, goi, goi, goi zai mashita. And, uh, no, no. shibakudo. Yaru. Uh, <laughs> Yaru. It's too bad it rained throughout the entire game. If that slippery ball hadn't led to so many mistakes, I think we would have had a better picture of the talents of these teams. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Scholastic Sports America Japan Holiday Special right after this. We're the Ashland Grizzlies. Hello from Japan. 